guys, Miss Chris here from the Fountaindale Library. Today we're going to make a really cool project, a roller coaster for a marble. Well, let's see if I set this up right. Let's see. This is what we're going to get. <gasps> Look at it go. Pretty cool. So today we're going to do that. I'm going to show you how to do it and um, it's super easy and you can make it. This is one I made, but you can make your super complicated. There's stuff you can do at ho from home to put in it. What you're going to get in your kit is going to be a variety of tubes. And I will have cut some of the tubes out. See how this is cut? Um, you'll get some straws, okay? And you're going to get a marble, and you're going to get some paper plates. So the first thing you want to do after you open up your kit is kind of try to think of how you want your roller coaster to look. I made a super simple one, just a couple... I think it's really like two plates, two and a half plates. So think about it. You can even make a drawing if you want to try to figure out how you want to do it. Um, think like an architect. You're the architect. You're the engineer that's going to make this roller coaster. So think about it. Work it out in your head and see what you want to do. Then you're going to look at your, look at your materials and you're going to decide if you need to cut some down. Now the ones you're going to have in your kit are pretty thick. We have some really nice ones and they make for great supports for your tracks. But if you do need to cut them down, get a parent to help or an adult. Um, you can use scissors, but it's a little tricky. You can also use an X-Acto knife, but definitely have an adult help you because um, an X-Acto knife is very hard and it's, it's very sharp and it's a little harder to do. I'm just going to show you what you're going to do to make a little hole in it. If you use an X-Acto and grown-ups, you do this. And you're just going to slide it in really carefully and just make it about the size of your track, what your track's going to be. And it's really simple. I'm going to do this for you, for the ones that you get in your kit, but if you need to make more, this is how you do it. Super simple, okay? And you're going to do it on both sides so that your track can come through like this. So this is how your track is going to come through. You'll just feed it through Let's see. Mine's a little tight, but you'll get the idea. Okay. Now, to make, let's do this. To make your tracks, you're going to use paper plates. Super simple, too. Now, these paper plates, you can use ones from home if you need more tracks. You just want to make sure they have a nice rounded edge that's going to keep your marble in. Even, at, even with that, we're going to bend it up a little bit. So you're going to take your plate, and you're going to cut it. And you're going to cut the inside of the plate out. So just cut to the middle. And I like to save the circle from the middle and use it as a base or even for decoration for your roller coaster. It's nice to be able to take your roller coaster down to something. It makes it easier to move. So, like as you can see on this one, I used the circle for a base, and I taped my straw and one of my pillars to it. So you can put that to the side and you can decide. Now once you have your plate, you can cut it to the length you want. I like to go in half because and, and tape them together just so you have um, different options. Because if you just have the plate going, it's going to circle right back around. You want it to be able to go like this and then maybe go the opposite way so you get like an S. See how that goes? And that's what I did with this one. I taped it together and I made like an S. Always start at the highest point. Because you're going to have gravity as your friend. You're going to start at the highest point and circle down. And then come all the way to the bottom. Now, oh, I started to show you. Bend your edges up a little bit, just a little bit. Let's see, just like that. So that way your marble doesn't come flying out the side. Still it might. You want to make sure. So you're going to have to tweak it as you go along. But you're, you're bending your um, edges up. It's going to keep it in a little bit. See, these came undone a little bit. And there we go. Okay, so you're going to start at the top. And I'm just going to show you. We're not going to put it all together because you can see how I did this one. You're going to take your track and you're going to feed it through. Feed it through the top one, and you're going to leave just enough over here. It's 
for the start of your roller coaster for your marble to, to be put in. And make sure it's nice and straight. And then you're going to tape your next one. Now to tape the tracks together, super simple. I'm just going to use some tape. Make sure your tape is nice and smooth on the part where your, roll, your marble is going to be rolling because it could stop your marble. Now, I talked about before, gravity is your friend. You want to make sure you start your roller coaster high and then end, like we did over here, on the lower part. So, you're going to use the different sizes, and you'll have a couple different sizes in here, the different sizes for supports. I like the straws for the higher ones because they're easy to, to put on, put under, and they are similar in size. So, you see how I did with this one over here. You're just going to find out where you need that support, so right about here. Now, to make the straws be able to be taped to it, you're just going to trim, I did one here, I'm just going to trim a little bit of the edges, um, kind of um, almost like a flower, you can do four or five little slits at the, at the end, so that way you can bend them down, okay? And then once you bend them down, they're a lot easier to tape to your roller coaster, okay? So that's simple. And then, like I said, you're, you're going to be saving these. You can tape it to this, and it'll make it a lot more sturdy. So I'm just going to do a few examples so you know how to do it. And then I want you guys to have a lot of fun. So, so see how I taped it to the bottom there? And then this is going to be your support, and you're going to tape it to your track. Now, I know it's a little awkward to do it this way, but this way you know where you actually want it to sit. So this one's going to be a little further down because I made it a little shorter. But this way, if you tape it when it's out of the tube, you're not going to have the exact place, and it's just going to be a little more um, uneven. So you can just start and tape it. And again, if you use your tape to go over, which is fine, it'll actually make it a little sturdier. Just make sure it's smooth when it's on the track, okay? So, just like that. And now we've got two pieces of a roller coaster, and you can see how it's going down. So you're going to use other sizes. You can take some of the little guys and tape them to the side. I'm just going to use this one as an example, I, as I did with this one and then your track could go through. So I'm going to show you how to do that. There's all sorts of different ways. You can use things from home. You can use um, soda bottles. The tops of soda bottles should have to have an adult help you to cut it. But that could make a very cool funnel for your uh, marble to go through. So if you tape one of the little guys to it, you could have a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of a tunnel for your track to go through. Now, this video would be very long if I went through the whole thing. It's going to take you some time to do it. I just wanted to show you a few ways to do it. And you can see how I did it on this one. Each one going a little bit lower through our little tunnel, a little lower, a little lower till we get to the lowest part. I put a plate here to catch it. You can put one of the tubes. You can put a cup. You can put a funnel and make it go down to the ground, however you want. And then, the most important thing, once you're done, test it a few times. The few times I did it, the first few times, my marble came off the edge. Just like that. Oh, perfect timing. That was perfect. So, it came off the edge right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend this up a little bit. I'm going to straighten my pillars a little bit so that I know it's not going to come flying off. And then I'm going to test it again. Let's see what happens with this guy there. Now it's a little better. And now it goes all the way through. When I first did it, I had to rebend over here and over here and over here a whole bunch. And that's part of making your roller coaster trial and error. Okay? So keep trying. See, it came off a little bit again. But that's okay. Just keep trying until you get it exactly how you want it. And what's cool about this too is you can change it up. Once you've made your roller coaster and you've played with it, you can look and say, 
hey, maybe I can add some more to it. Maybe I can make it a two level or a three level. I don't know. I would love to see what you guys do. So you could bring pictures into the library. I don't know how easy it would be to bring your roller coaster into the library, but if you could do it, I'd love to see it. I hope you guys have fun.